All right, in this lesson, we're gonna show you the journal entries associated with selling merchandise to the customer. So we are no longer the customer, we are now the vendor, and it looks a little bit different, um, but kind of the same thing that we've been talking about from a purchasing standpoint. So in this case, put on your hat as we are the vendor selling to customers, and then how do we report those sales from a journal entry standpoint. So to get started, when we're selling, uh, we make a sale of the good and merchant oh, so when we when a company makes a sale of goods or merchandise the company must make two entries the first entry is the sale of the actual good so we sold this good for a profit so we're going to have to report the sale at its gross amount we also are going to need to report the cost of the inventory okay so we've got two entries that we got to make here we've got to make the sale and then the cost of the inventory. So if you remember our example of this box of staples here, we said that the cost to me was $1, we sell it for $2. So if I bought it for $1, then we're going to need to report the cost of this that I sold at $1. We're also gonna to need to report the sale, the sale being how much we sold it to our customers in this case, two dollars so that's what we're trying to do is we're going to book the sale of the goods for two dollars and then the cost of the goods of one dollar on our book so every sales transaction has two transaction that needs to be done now the sale of the goods, when we sell the goods, we represent the amount the company expects to receive from the sale of the good and the payment or future payment. So when we sell the good, we put what we expect to receive, not necessarily what we sold it at, because we might have sold it for less than we expect to receive because they're just a friend. So even though we sold it to them for $1,000, we know very well that they're only gonna pay us 600 bucks. So we're gonna report it at 600, not 1,000. And if we get extra, great. If we don't, we've reported it at what we expect to receive. Now, when we do the sale of the goods, we're gonna debit cash or accounts receivable, depending if we're extending credit. Once we've done that, we're also going to credit the sales revenue because that's what made us receive the cash. Because we sold something is what gave us the cash. So debit cash or accounts receivable, depending on what we're trying to do, and we're gonna credit sales revenue. Now we gotta get to the cost of the merchandise. So that's the sale, now here's the cost. The cost of the inventory represents the cost of the inventory to the seller. So when we sold, how much did that inventory cost us initially? We're basically transferring the cost of the goods sold from inventory to cost of goods sold. So if you remember kind of our uh, diagram where we moved it from one to the other, one uh, T account to another, that's what we're doing here. We're moving it from inventory to cost of goods sold. And in doing that, the way that we make that entry is we're gonna debit the expense cost of goods sold, and then we're gonna credit the inventory. We're gonna reduce the inventory by the amount that we actually sold, okay, at its original cost. So that's what would be the entry there. Let's take a look at an example to kind of walk you through this so you kind of understand what we're talking about. Let's assume that company A sells five units of widget A for $10 each to their customer. Company A was able to purchase these products from their vendor at $2 each. So they were able to buy it for $2 and then flip it for $10 and they sold five of them. Prepare the entry for the sale of the merchandise. So we've got two entries that we gotta make, the sale and the cost of goods sold. So the sale would be how much did we sell it for? So we sold it for $10 each and we sold five units. So we sold 10 times five, we sold $50 worth of product. So we've got $50 worth of product so we sold it, so we expect to receive some type of monetary payment. So in this case, on account is what to use. So if it's on account, we didn't receive cash, we received an IOU. So we're gonna debit accounts receivable for $50. And how did we earn it? We earned it from making a sale. So we're gonna credit sales revenue for $50, okay? So now that we have the sales out of the way, we now need to think about the cost of the goods sold. So the cost of these goods were $2 each to us. So if they're $2 each to this, then we're gonna need to report a cost of goods sold. So I'm gonna debit cost of goods 
sold for two dollars each so two times five is ten and then i'm going to credit inventory because i'm going to reduce the inventory since i don't have it anymore for ten dollars so whoops ten dollars so that basically gives us a profit of four dollars which would make sense right if i sold it for ten dollars and it cost me two dollars and i'm making eight dollars a unit if i sold five five times eight is forty dollars that's what we have here revenues of fifty dollars and then expenses of ten dollars so as a reminder no matter what if a company sells merchandise the keywords merchandise uh, services are a little bit different if they're selling merchandise um, using the perpetual inventory system there will always be two entries the cost of the goods sold and the cost of the wait sale of the goods and the cost of the inventory so it's also called cost of goods sold so we're going to have we're, we're going to report the sale and we're going to report the cost of the goods that we sold at the price that we paid for them so those are the two entries that we have to think about when we sell all the time so it doesn't matter if you go down five sections from now if you make a sale there then you're going to need to have two entries one for the sale and one for the cost of the goods sold to our customers so that is a look at selling merchandise and what the journal entries will look like um, in the next lesson we're going to tackle another topic that's related to this and then there will be an example after that that will kind of walk you through kind of everything that we've kind of talked about with a sale so i hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you press the like button below. And if you're looking for worksheets that go along with all of these lessons, head over to my website at patrickleemsa.com or click in the link in the far right. And I've got your next lesson right over here. So just click that link and it'll take you to that video. So until then, we'll see you in the next lesson.